Hi guys, it's Amanda with Makeup by Amanda and today I have a review video for you and kind of a demonstration video with one of my really like favorite products that I've been, well it's not really a product, it's actually like a tool. So for Christmas my sister got me this Lux Beauty Products um, brush cleaner and it's one of those um, electric brush cleaners and so I've been actually using it since December and it makes your brushes so much easier to clean and make sure that like they're dry so you can use them instead of washing them all by hand sometimes it can take a little bit longer to do it this way but you know by the time you're done that all your brushes are clean and you can use them right away um i have found a little bit with the powder brushes and like the more thick like foundation brushes that sometimes you may have to do it a few times because it is thicker and you have to get to the inside so that one you might not be able to use right away but you would be able to use it within a few hours so what comes in the kit is the um, brush cleaner um, contraption and then you have these little um, plastic things that go right on top of it and they have one for every brush size big huge brushes and little tiny brushes um, if it has a double-ended brush, obviously you can't use it because it's not going to fit into the rubber. But I am going to show you with my um, a few of my eyeshadow brushes first because it is brush cleaning day for me. So I figured this would be the perfect time for me to do this video. So when I do my eyeshadow brushes, I usually use the smallest one. It has that little hole there and then it also has this um, plus symbol that actually matches the plus symbol on the top of the brush cleaner. This is rechargeable, so there's no batteries. You just use a USB cord it comes with, and you can just plug it right into the wall or computer. So I'm going to start with this. It has um, a bunch of eye orange eyeshadow on it. And some of these brushes do still seem a little bit stained after, but you know it's just because it was either white bristles or whatever. Um, this is my JS5 brush, and it fits right into there. So it's going to look just like this. And you have your jar. This is plastic. They used to make them in glass. Some companies do have them in glass still, which I think is really not a good idea because they're so easy to break. And then it has that protector room. So, okay, so there's the, bro the bowl. You're not going to see my face for a minute. And I'm taking my brush. And with this thing, there's three settings. So you have the blue setting, which is normal medium and then the red setting which is high i always use it on the red setting because it seems to clean it faster so what you're gonna do is dump it in the brush bowl for about 45 degree angle and you're gonna turn it on whatever setting so right now mine's on the red setting you can't see it and you just kind of put it in there i use um on dish soap to wash my brushes or um, it does come with a brush cleaner but doesn't suds that much so now would be the time where you kind of just go like that and it will kind of make like a whirlpool, whirlpool then you're gonna lift it out of that and then with the um, now it is drying it so you keep it above the water and the splash guard is making it the water not go all over the place so now when you turn it off you'll notice sometimes it is still a little wet so i will hold it above over there just to dry a little bit longer and by the time i did it the second time it's actually dry there's just a little bit of pigment left there and that's just honestly because this brush was already stained from how much color I use. <laughs> so it's a mixture of pinks and oranges. We'll do a few more. I'm going to do the powder brush. This one I use a lot so let's see how this one goes. So for this brush I'm going to switch this rubber thing off and we're going to use the neck size up. I find I only use these two because my brushes don't have any bigger settings I mean I could use the next one up but I think it would fall out so you just put it right in so it's attached there and you're going to put it in the water turn it on whatever setting you feel like I said I always use the highest setting it may sound weird it may 
feel weird. But look at how dirty that water is getting. I tried to make sure it like goes up against the side of the bowl so that it's rubbing off as much product as possible. And I do end up changing the water a lot. Well, maybe about three or four times because you know that the soap is in there and when you lift it up, it is like, you know, cleaning the, the soap, the water off. So some people use another bowl to rinse it, but then honestly, you're just getting more soap in it. So it really is defeating the purpose. So now it's drying. This one will take a little longer because it's a bigger brush. Look at how that water is. <laughs> And we're gonna shut it off to see how and it honestly actually pretty much got all the product this is another stained well not really stained it's just kind of you know kind of the brush the bristles are a little bit tan anyway so this one I know is actually clean it's just not dry yet so we'll dry it for another few seconds there like you said the bigger the brush the longer you're going to have to dry it for. But it's never a really long time. So if you can see. So if you can see that brush right here is now basically dry. It's a little bit not, but pretty much. And then I'm going to take my concealer brush, which has a lot of concealer on it. And we're going to have to go back down to the, it's actually got the millimeters, it's the 5 millimeter size. And the other one is 7. So we're going to stick the brush in there, there you go, got the brush. I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the makeup brush cleaning solution. This came with it, it's the Lux makeup brush cleaning solution. I dropped it so the cap is like broken, but... It still works nonetheless. All right, so now we've got that in there at our 45 degree angle and we're gonna turn it on. I have it on the red setting, which is the fastest and highest. Curl it around. And we're just letting it go for a little bit. I kind of like to move it in and out so I know that it's getting the middle, especially if there's a liquid product on it. Like I use my liquid concealer with this. Just like that. All right, and now we're gonna let it go up. I like to chuck it. See, it's actually really clean. Got all the product off of it. Now we're just gonna let it dry. So we're just gonna let it spin all the water off. Oh, it wasn't on the highest setting. And that one is now completely dry. It usually goes a lot faster than this guy's too. It's just because I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to use another eyeshadow brush. I'll do this one with all the blue on it. And it's my JS6. The eyeshadow brushes are the pretty much the easiest to clean because they dry super fast because they're not big, so it's easier. I'll check it. It's still got a little bit of blue and pinks and all that kind of stuff, but... Oops. 
and sometimes they're weird to shape back. So you have to make sure that you're shaping them back kind of as you're drying them. That's what I found. Sometimes brushes like this, because it's not really flat and it's not really a round brush, you kind of have to do that. And you can see it's not completely shaped, but it will go back to shape. I honestly leave these a little bit, like 90% wet so that I can shape them back on just like certain brushes. So we're gonna do my foundation brush now and I think this will be the last one we'll do. Um, so I'm gonna switch it to the seven millimeter. It's just really simple. Just put it in and then we will let the thing do its thing. That's why that 45 degree angle is also super important because you want it to be rubbing up against the glass or the plastic or whatever it is to get all that product off. Like, if you can see, it's rubbing up against the glass with the water and like getting the product off of it. All right, so now I will check it. It's pretty good, but it's not there yet. Sometimes I like to just wash this one by hand and then dry it. Just because sometimes this can take a while. But I think this is really cool because if you want to do your makeup and your brushes are dirty, you can just really do this real quick. So we're gonna dry that, see how it looks in a minute. So honestly, we still have some in there and I'm gonna actually scrub that off. It has made my brushes a lot like easier to use. Like I have a lot more brushes accessible at all times because if I need to clean one, I can just pick it up and clean it. Um, but honestly, this was like $29.99 on Amazon and um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, um, but it's one of the best gifts I've received. So if you're looking for a gift for somebody or if you are looking for something to like make your brush cleaning experience easier, I would totally go with this um, Lux um, brush cleaner. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, if you've used one before, let me know. Um, if you have any other products you want me to review or things you you think I should try just let me know and I will absolutely try my best to make the app possible um, if and I hope you guys have a wonderful day everyone please stay safe and um, just have fun have a nice day bye